which I think makes a good bookshop. I think um, its location, its stock and its staff are probably the three most important things. You've got to be visible, you've got to have interesting, unusual stock, you've got to know your stock and you've got to have staff who are happy to talk about it and recommend books to customers. I think it's the sort of personal touch probably. I mean service and customer service recommendations really, um, being able to walk into a bookshop and know that you're going to get somebody who knows what they're talking about, is passionate about books and can recommend things that you maybe didn't know you were going to go in for. Um, that's the key, I think, for us and for everyone now in, in, in book selling is um, what people don't know that they're looking for um, and turning them onto really exciting, interesting new stuff or old books they may not know about. Um, uh, and it's doing things that are, um, uh, algorithm really can't do. Um, which is you know, reading people and figuring out from what they're saying, um, what they've read before, you know, not necessarily just giving them something that somebody else has bought who's also read that, but giving them something that you, know, you can make a logical leap and think, well, if you like that, then maybe this, um, that you haven't read before, you don't know. Um, I think that's really important. The whole sort of basis of the shop is a lot of recommend, you know, it's a very sort of local customer based shop that a lot of people come in and they want recommends for themselves, they want recommends for presents, for their children. Also, I guess, how, um, I don't want to say curation because it's quite an annoying word, but the, how the books are arranged and how we choose what we stock, um, I think is really important for a good bookshop. Um, that it has a character and it has a sort of ethos leading it. Well, I don't know if it has, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, really sort of independent bookshops are probably just the same apart from obviously the computerisation and everything as when you probably found a really good bookshop when I was young. Well, it's changed hugely in that availability of information has changed. So everyone has access to Google, of course, and can find out about books writers a lot more quickly and probably easily, more easily than they could. Um, it hasn't changed in that people still love to get a recommendation so the role of the bookshop in that sense I think is, is primary in fact I think it's probably more important now because we're overwhelmed with choice and so many more books are published um, I think that people are time poor they're not necessarily money poor when it comes to books but they do want to come in and know that they're getting something that they want and I think the the role of the bookshop has been somewhere where like-minded people meet and read and reach other minds, you know, minds of authors past and, and present in a way that, you know, they can exchange information and ideas about books. It's much the same, I think. Um, perhaps from the event side, you know, people do a lot of events now, which perhaps they would just have an author into sign. Now there's a lot more um, curated around people coming, giving talks about books. So that's really good, I think, you know, I think anything that encourages a sort of conversation about books is just really healthy and really important for communities you know especially when you know even around here there's pubs closing libraries closing theatres closing all the community spaces are closing and we do quite a lot of um, sort of events I and mean, I also run the book groups here and it's sort of another community space where people sort of come talk about I just think talking about books is just the best thing really so. <laughs> and long may it continue.